So, you know, why am I so grateful for the evangelicals who gave Jeannie and I all the help they did, and at the same time disagree vehemently with them, but refuse to let them all be generalized and painted with the same brush, because it's not that way. So I think the counterintuitive aspect of, the, of what we see in our own backgrounds can really be helpful to the, to the three of us, as we discuss, but can also be helpful to other people, because everything's been simplified too much yeah uh, in, in these areas i listened to um another podcast um called ask rana and she's very politically savvy and she does some advice and um it's, it's very funny and thoughtful and one of the things that she said which i thought was so poignant was that we have these broad strokes ideals mm -hmm. with our philosophy and our politics and our activism. And the truth is if you were to meet somebody face to face and look them in the eye, like, and they asked you for something mm -hmm. like an abortion or whatever, or to get married, like chances are you would actually, you know, show kindness to a person, but because we've kind of blanketed this you know, these thoughts and these people and what we think. Um, I feel like we're losing kind of that, that mm -hmm. tenderness and the individuality of like the intimacy of our decisions mm -hmm. um, and our processes in our life. And just kind of going back to that idea of, you know, just showing like a little bit of kindness. Mm -hmm. It's, it's really interesting. I feel like as Americans, we're so individualized in like a negative way you know, we're worried about like our best life and our taxes and our property. And mm. like, we need to hold both ideas of, of giving back to the community as well. Mm. Yeah, that's a really good point. We, we talk about that a lot, about the loss of the third place and the loss of like church as a community, not even mm -hmm. as like a, per, like a, like a faith tradition or believing in the god or whatever but yeah. as a community to come together once a week with people who are not in your family who do not look like you necessarily who are not socioeconomically the same as you to actually do something in the community mm. in which you live and yeah. we're all commuters and it's all very weird and you know a lot of the people in our church don't live in the neighborhood that the church is in anymore and so that you know, you're taken out of, it's in a very affluent part of town. It's a really rich area. And everyone that goes to the church isn't necessarily that rich. And so it's it's a weird thing to come to this place in the middle of all of these like very big, beautiful, they look like, you know, 5,000 square foot pottery barns. And and you're coming here to talk about, you know, we're hosting a refugee family from Afghanistan and, you know, doing these things that the houses around us aren't into at all, mm -hmm. would not be into that ministry at all or that work at all. And so how do you bring that community back in? It's a real struggle. Where do you go to talk to your neighbors? When's the last time you talked to your neighbor? Frank, I know you talk to your neighbors all the time and I'm so inspired every time you tell, you know, a story about how you ran into a neighbor and you lent him a shovel or something. That's yeah, so part great. Part of that is because I've been in the same house for 43 years and you know that a personal little thing of mine um, is stay put if you can in the sense that there's no shortcut to that. You know, sometimes people on the, on the uh, you know, who are friends of mine who are very die -hard, sort of doctrinaire atheists will ask me, well, why do you still go to church? Which I don't all the time, but uh, you know, I take Nora, my granddaughter, and she likes to go and so forth. And one of the things is just intergenerational connection. You know, where else is my eight-year-old granddaughter, Nora, actually going to weep over the death of Mary, who died when she was 98? And, and and say to me, I've, lo I've lost one of my best friends. And she wasn't being cute. Mm. Where, where was that gonna happen? <laughs>